Is it time to buy or sell Palantir stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Palantir. Our initial report was published on our website on Tuesday, July 11, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since May 9, 2023, our system has ranked Palantir as a strong buy candidate, giving it a score of 5.84. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. Those who followed our analysis would have enjoyed an impressive gain of 72.67% since we first listed Palantir as a buy candidate 43 days ago. This translates to an average return of 1.69% per day since it was listed as strong buy candidate. The stock lies in the middle of a very wide and strong rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 111.91% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 89.55% and 147.62%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 33.89% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 33.84% and 37%. This translates to a price range of $10.91 to $22.59 after a year. Our latest daily update for Palantir includes the headline, Green Day on Tuesday for Palantir stock after gaining 1.17%. The Palantir stock price gained 1.17% on the last trading day, Tuesday, July 11, 2023, rising from $16.30 to $16.49. It has now gained three days in a row. It will be exciting to see whether it manages to continue gaining or take a minor break for the next few days. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 4.83% from a day low at $16.15 to a day high of $16.93. The price has risen in 8 of the last 10 days and is up by 18.29% over the past two weeks. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, and, in total, 312,000 more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 63 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $1.04 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $17.16, and the lowest price was $5.84. Currently, the price is 3.9%, or $0.670, below the 52-week high, and 63.36%, or $28.51, below the all-time high on January 27, 2021, when the price reached $45. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Thursday, January 5, 2023, Jefferies set a price target of 7.5. On Thursday, January 5, 2023, Jefferies set a price target of 7.5. On Thursday, January 5, 2023, Jefferies set a price target of 7.5. On Wednesday, December 21, 2022, Wolf Research set a price target of 4.5. On Wednesday, December 21, 2022, Wolf Research set a price target of 4.5. Analysts have given Palantir stock a general buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Palantir. The Palantir stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $15.68 and $14.76. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. 
volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Thursday, June 15, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 0.663%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 17 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 52 days ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal 3 days ago. Long-term moving average, buy signal 44 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 42 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 5 days ago. The long-term moving average, buy signal 45 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 105 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Palantir Palantir finds support from accumulated volume at $16.30 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $0.780 between high and low, or 4.83%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 5.49%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Palantir, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price to earnings ratio, or PE ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per share earnings. A negative P.E. ratio means the company has negative earnings or is losing money. Even established companies experience down periods, often due to factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P.E. ratios may signal insufficient profit and possible bankruptcy risks. In other news, the next earnings report for Q3 2023 is expected on NOV 06, 2023. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Palantir. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Palantir is at $16.60. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Palantir encounters its first support level at $16.30. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Palantir from multiple analyst sources is buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On July 3, 2023, Moore Alexander D. conducted an insider sell of 37,076 shares of Class A common stock. On June 15, 2023, Stat Lauren Elena Friedman conducted an insider sell of 7,000 shares of Class A common stock. On June 15, 2023, Stat Lauren Elena Friedman conducted an insider sell of 3,595 shares of Class A common stock. On June 7, 2023, Wershing Eric H. conducted an insider buy of 20,422 shares of Class A common stock. On June 7, 2023, Stat Lauren Elena Friedman conducted an insider buy of 20,422 shares of Class A common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 18.766. Overall, insiders purchased 7,851,650 shares and sold 11,386,845 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $15.84, minus 3.93%. This stock has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found 16 days ago.
Is Palantir stock a good buy? Palantir holds several positive signals and is within a strong rising trend. As the old saying says, let the trend be your friend. We therefore consider it to be a good choice at these current levels and we are expecting further gains during the next three months. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Wednesday, July 12, we expect Palantir to open up $0.0333 and start trading at $16.52. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.